Hi everyone, Liam here and welcome to my match preview and prediction for the Ashley Novak Djokovic and Alejandro Davidovich Fikina in round 3 of Roland Garros. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow the tennis section community. I mean, this is going to be a very interesting match here in Roland Garros. Obviously, Novak Djokovic has cruised so far throughout his matches here. I mean, the first round... Close your eyes, you know Novak's won in straight sets. Second round against Martin Fuksovic. It was a tight first set, you could say. I mean, Fuksovic going into the tiebreak had won a couple more points than Novak, but in the tiebreak, Novak was a bit too consistent and the depth of the shot was a bit too much for Fuksovic to handle and he got that under his belt. He used that momentum in the tiebreak to then get the second set, I mean, dominating it at six love. And then the third set, I think both players knew what the outcome of the match was going to be, so they weren't playing to their absolute best and it was just a 6-3 set for Novak. It's good to see him play in this level though. He's definitely making statements left and right with these matches he wants to win them comprehensively he says he wants to dominate every opponent he plays against and it's going to be a little bit more of a tougher ask now that he's meeting Alejandro Davidovich Fakina. Obviously, Fakina has played quite well as well here in Roland Garros. In his first round match, he met the inform Arthur Fies, won that one in four sets. And then in the second round, he met uh, Van Ash and he won that one in straight sets. It's never easy playing against a Frenchman in Roland Garros and to play against Frenchmen in back-to-back -back matches and only lose one set along the way is a good thing. And, you know, Fies and Van Ash are not easy players to play against, especially in front of their home crowd, I'm sure. You know, their, their level's already good enough to play very well and on, on a normal day. In front of their home crowd, with them giving a little bit more energy and motivation, it can be even tougher, but Davido Fakina managed to get through those quite comprehensively. Coming into this match, the head-to-head -head is two to one towards Novak. Their last meeting was last year in Monte Carlo. I think everyone remembers that match where Novak won it in, uh, well, sorry, where Alejandro Davido Fakina won it. It was Novak's first match back, I believe, after you know not being able to participate in the 2022 Australian Open and you could tell obviously he wasn't he wasn't at his absolute best and he still needed a few matches under his belt but you know what nevertheless Fakina played an incredible match that day and he'll be looking to you know use similar conditions of being you know here on clay and the fact that you know Novak hasn't had to face someone as in form as Fakina you know perhaps this year here in Roland Garros so he might try and fancy his chances but realistically Novak in this form will destroy anyone on 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 his day to be quite honest and I think he's going to get another straight sets victory here I don't think I don't think uh, Alejandro Davidovich Rikina is going to be able to keep up with him too, too much. They might have one or two tie breaks or maybe a set 7-5 or something like that, but I just don't see him taking a set off Novak in this current form.